Everything in home diagnosis centers on the invisible dynamics of physics and chemistry at work in your home all day, every day. And a lot of people are trained to think it's all about energy efficiency. Here's why it's about so much more. We like to break home performance down into the 4-3-2-1 approach we talk so much about. If you're a fan of this show, you know the one goal we're after is control over the two systems, skin and circulatory. And we use the three recommendations to get there, air sealing, insulation, and HVAC upgrades. The four elements we're trying to control at the end of the day are pretty straightforward. The flow of heat, air, moisture, and toxins. Heat is probably pretty obvious to you. It bleeds out of your home in the winter and bleeds in during the summer. Airflow is a much more subtle dynamic and it leads to pressure imbalances, especially in today's more airtight homes. We need to be more aware of this element because it's easy to detune a home by putting in new fans or changing ducts. And it's also simple to avoid that by testing for it. Moisture is a big deal. And if you don't already know, too little and we get cracks in the walls and sore sinuses. But if we have too much, we grow green fuzz in corners and things start to disintegrate. And the final and most important element is air quality, which is influenced by all the other elements. The air your family breathes at home is made of chemicals, some good for you and some toxic, and laden with life forms, again, some good and some bad for you. When you look at home performance using these four elements, it's clear that only two of them affect energy efficiency, and they're the two least critical ones to your family's health. To control moisture and indoor pollution, we need machines that use energy, and that's not technically efficient. And as we try to make homes more energy efficient by controlling heat and air, we are absolutely causing side effects in moisture and toxins because the home is a system. So the next time you are thinking of building or doing surgery on your home, remember the 4-3-2-1 approach.